motivation. Um, my little brother, my little brother's got special needs, he's autistic, and um, when I'm training, I mean, I don't need motivation when I'm in the ring. The time you need motivation is when you're training. Do you know what I mean? Them good, this train hard fight easy. The fighting's the easy part of it. You got them six, seven, eight week training camps. That's the hard part of it. And the thought of him, um, thought I've got to do it for him, gets me through it. He's he's the light of my life. My name's Barney B. Sirius Jones, I'm 23, and I'm from North London, Enfield. I didn't have much trouble growing up, um, apart from the fact I got, I got bullied a lot. I was, I was a little tubby kid, I was naive, I thought everyone was nice, um, and I got bullied a lot. Um, which, I don't know if it led me to boxing, but the boxing certainly, uh, certainly helped in a way of self-confidence, keeping me, making me a person, no, the person I am today, basically, do you know what I mean? It gave me the confidence to do what I wanted to do, not listen to other people, because like I say, I was, I was bullied a bit, just for, just for being, I think, probably too nice and naive. I was 12 years old when I got into boxing. Um, I was one of them kids that I was playing football, basketball, cricket, rugby, everything. I wanted to do everything. And then um, kids told my dad, Dad, take me boxing, take me boxing, take me boxing. And in the, in the end, he took me, and it was just like, I just took to it like Dr. To Walter, really. It just, it just stuck. It was just the main thing. And um, I remember when, when, when I first went there, it was about 12. 12 young young kids all about my age and the gym wasn't big enough to hold 12 of us it was about two bags a tiny little ring so they had a big sort out they put everyone in the ring so everyone sparred everyone and like they sort of had a sort out who they wanted to keep and who they didn't and uh, I ended up making a cut and uh, never looked back since really Jab, 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 get a little bit of room when you have a bounce, take a step back before you have a bounce, boom, 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 boom. drag out, then have a bounce off, yeah, rather than boom, 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 bounce on the spot, come out low, 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 take a step back, and then you can have a bounce off. Two minute rounds, yeah. My name's Ben Davison, and I am Barney's boxing trainer. Me and Barney met through this gym here, Target Fitness. Um, we was both training. I was training at the time. Barney was training at the time, but I was playing football at the time. So uh, we just used to train together, have a laugh together as mates. And then um, Barney was training with Danny Hardy at first. And then Danny Hardy passed him over to me once I started focusing on my boxing and my boxing training. Relationship between me and my trainer is uh, <laughs> is uh, is funny. We're we're both well. Ben's Ben's a year 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 and a half younger than me, I think, which is almost unheard of. Do you know what I mean? A trainer being younger than the fire. But listen, we're like best mates. We we see each other every day. We're with each other every day. We never have a crossword. Do you know what I mean? I I listen to him. I follow him blindly in what he says. And if he says do something, that's what I do. Like, there's no doubts, no two ways about it. Because there's so far, there's been no reason to doubt him. So far. <laughs> Just to go have a little stretch out in the sauna. Just a little bit more sweating. A little bit like, 
but you're not allowed in there. My license is now, I've had three of them, I've won three of them. Um, no, I've had four of them, one four of them. Uh, stopped one, um, fought a couple of durable fighters in my first two fights. Um, one easy, I won one easy, I, I didn't stop them. Then I fought uh, a fella last February um, who was in the Queensbury, Queensbury League. He was one of the top boys in that. I beat him over six rounds for the Southern Area title. Um, then he went on that seven pro fights um, up to now. Then I broke my shoulder and I was out for a year, so I'm really a year behind in what I, where I wanted to be. So I broke my shoulder, had a couple of bad injuries. Um, but then I had a fight, February just gone, and I stopped the boy in a second. So I'm four, four and I. The greatest thing about the sport of boxing is that it's the truth. You can't hide, it's yourself. There's no nobody in there that can cover the gaps that you haven't filled, turn the stones that you didn't turn. It, it, it is what it is. If, if you haven't worked hard enough, you're going to get found out. If you work hard and, and you, you do the right things, you're going to get the reward. My two favourite fighters of all time, Muhammad Ali, Roy Jones Jr. And they're exactly who I, I tried to be like from 12 till about 19, when I realised there was only one Roy Jones and there's only one Muhammad Ali, so I've got to make sure there's only one Barney Jones. Listen, like I said, there's no point getting into it if I'm not going for the top. Do you know what I mean? I don't want much. I just want loads of money, loads of cars, house, swimming pool. <laughs> no, but listen, like I say, there's no point going into it if that's not what you're aiming for. And and that's that's what I'm going to try to achieve. But uh, we we'll take it one fight at a time first.